Hey there everybody, it's Wayne D. Welcome to the website, WayneD.com. And we're looking at everybody's favorite subject now, Tiger Woods. Got a couple of swings from the Quicken Loans Tournament here in my neck of the woods, down at RTJ. Tiger played pretty good, one bad round, uh, third round. So let's take a look at a couple of swings. An iron shot. Good angle. And we have a three wood shot, another good angle here. Get this three wood shot a bit to the left. Iron shot was pretty good. So I think uh, they made some posture changes. I like the uh, I like the posture. It's good. It's athletic up and over. I had thought that it had gotten a little bit more back in the heels uh, in the recent years, and now it looks a little more in the balls of the feet. Uh, takeaway is fairly conventional. He is. Pretty much stayed away from the out takeaway where he used to take his hands and the club out away from his body. It's not as in as it was with uh, Sean. So it's kind of neutral. I would say pretty much right up the plane. The uh, camera's staying fairly still here, so that's. Pretty much what you want to do with a takeaway. When we get the left arm parallel, you can see, you know, historically his right elbow has never been really flared out, so he's keeping that in, so that's pretty normal there. And then the guys with good mobility and strength can keep that arm pretty much right where it is, uh, as you've seen in a lot of other swings and lessons that I've given usually when the right arm gets pinched in like that it has a tendency to look for depth and height at the getting to the top of the swing which causes some significant problems for most people but of course not for not for Tiger the clubs pointed pretty much perfectly as you can see so you can't really argue with technique from the down the line view in the backswing. If we look at the three wood shot, you're going to see the same type of thing. A nice takeaway, if anything, the club is tiny bit outside the hands, traveling up the forearm. Again, the right arm in front, left arm parallel. I'd say the wrist probably looks a little flatter at the top than it did with Sean, a little more haneyish. Uh, when he had a little weaker grip, but uh, the face doesn't look particularly open, so I think his grip has pretty much stayed the same. So on the iron shot, and, and this is what has troubled me with Tiger since 2009. There was a pretty distinct change from 2000. 8 to 2009 where Tiger began to drop his hands more straight down. You can see it still happening. So that is a descending angle with the grip. Now again, he's so strong and has such great control of the shaft that in this particular case, you know, you can see the shaft stays nicely above the right forearm. Now he's definitely taking the club more left than he used to. And again, that was more of a of something he worked on with Sean, getting the hands a little more forward to compress the ball. Thus, the right arm would release to the left because it's straightening later. As far as the lowering factor, he's still got a significant amount of drop in the swing and I think 
really the the descending hands has a lot to do with the fact that his arms are responding to the lowering as opposed to the rotation. One of the good things that's happening, his legs are rotating a little bit more. So with this iron shot, which is not a super long club, you can see that the knees are back to square when the left arm's parallel and with the the longer club you can see the left knee's out of the way here and the left arm is actually above parallel so his legs are feeling better I think they're opening up faster and pretty good position here for the long club with the club above his arm as you, you saw the driver comparison that uh, Peter Costas did both the swings he made on one on the range one on the course both times the club is stuck way back here behind his hands coming from in to out this is a nice path here on this shot but the iron shots they just seem to be still wanting to drop straight down from the top now that shot here with the three wood I think this is a good sign I think the hands are, are starting to head more out toward the ball uh, no, not sure if that's a conscious thing or maybe he was just trying to cut this one or you can't tell but still it's not dropped straight down behind him so I think that's a better and a couple other uh, iron shot swings here and again you can just pretty much see that the hands are falling as Tiger squats into it. Now you know that also he has plenty of lateral movement in his swing so uh, didn't have a face on view here but he can get away with some of this because his right arm stays in front of him so well but I still think the tendency is to when he drops the clubs it, it wants to stay behind him a little bit more And then we got one more here. About this divot. <laughs> I mean, that's got to be 18 inches long. That's one of the all time great divots right here. So again, I think I think it's starting to look better. I really do like the posture. The backswing looks particularly good. I really think that if he decided to work that grip a little more out to the ball, get his upper body rotating a little bit more, let the club trail behind, I think that would be good that'd be a good thing and shots like this could hit a little bit shallower and that's it so just thought I'd look at that played a pretty good tournament hopefully he'll be in contention in some big tournaments that'd be great all right I'm Wayne D and that's another look at Tiger Woods working with Chris Como.